Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of October the 25th through to the 31st. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, lay them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cappies. First up, we have the Nine of Wands reversed. Followed then by Major Arcana, the Lovers in the Upright. Next, we have Major Arcana, the Hermit Upright. Next, we have Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune in the Upright. And lastly, we have the Page of Wands in the Upright. All, no, 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 not all of them. But you do have uh, three Major Arcana here. It could be an intense week for my Cappies. But you're laying down some challenges, which is always nice. I always like to see the wounded warrior in the reverse position. In the upright position, this can point to we've we keep coming up against that same brick wall. We keep hitting again and again and again. In some aspect or some area of your life, Capricorn, there have been many challenges, but just along that one thing, like say for example, you're always hitting that roadblock in your relationship. You're always hitting that roadblock at your job. You're always hitting that roadblock with your finances, health, you know, you name it. So there's something that you've been, you know, battered and bruised about. This is the wounded warrior, but he's, he's ready to fight another day if he should have to in the upright. But the good news is the cards in the reverse position indicating you um, will not have to fight another day. So that's good. Some of you, this can represent um, a truce in a situation where at least you won't have to deal with this challenge for now. It could be a truce being called. Um, for others of you, this could be the challenge is finally done. You don't have to deal with that anymore. It's finally over. That would be like too good to be true, but maybe that is the case for some of you this week. Could be a challenge completely comes to an end. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Gemini energy here, the lovers in the upright position. This is a card that represents a big decision. Now, this is a major decision. It's not the two of swords. This is a major arcana decision. So this can sometimes come about when, yes, it can be about choosing between two lovers. Absolutely. Maybe if you're dating two people and it's choice time now, you have to decide on one of the two people you've been dating. Sometimes this can indicate just choosing about love in general because we can always choose to love, we can choose not to love, we can choose to take a relationship further, we can choose to step back. We always have choices because we do have free will, right? So for others of you, this could be about a big choice, like a major choice in terms of maybe uh, do I work for this company or that? Maybe there's two big companies and they're both interested in you and they're going to ask you to make a choice or a decision. So it could be something like that going on. Could be a choice between two partners if you work for yourself or you're planning on going into business for yourself. The next card you have is the Virgo energy, the hermit in the upright position. The Hermit's about looking into something. Now that would make sense very much like a Capricorn because if you're, you you give a Capricorn a choice or a decision or you offer them something, they are all always going to look into it. And that's what the Hermit does. The Hermit looks into a situation to see. Um, Capricorns can be very OCD when they're, you know, trying to make a decision about something. They become obsessed with finding out what is the best course of action. Capricorn does not like to misstep. Capricorn does not like to make errors or make mistakes. Capricorn does not like to waste time. So Capricorn will put everything else aside in order to, you know, look at the looking glass, so to speak, and make sure that they understand what's going on, what their choices are, what their options are. Now, uh, sometimes the hermit can represent a need to step back. It could be maybe doing some analysis, some self-analysis, sometimes, you know, going within to try to figure out what it is, especially if it's on the romantic front. It could be that you are really needing to do some soul searching and figure out what it is you really want to do. Again, Capricorn does not like to make a mistake. So... And there uh, could be some of that for others of you. Perhaps one of these choices or decisions is going to require you to uh, do some kind of learning. Maybe sometimes with uh, jobs, even if, say, for example, you were offered a promotion or something like that, you may have to take a course in order to get that promotion. Sometimes the hermit can represent uh, taking a course in something or, you know, learning something. He is the student, the consummate student, the uh, hermit. Now, moving on towards the weekend, we have the beautiful Wheel of Fortune. Wheel is turning in your favor, Capricorn. I keep telling you guys, this is so exciting. 
Remember, Jupiter, this is what I call Jupiter's wheel. Remember, Jupiter has just gone in forward motion in the sign of Aquarius, which is your house of finance, Capricorn. So it will be there now until December in forward motion. Jupiter likes to leave some kind of little present or, you know, a gift before it leaves the, the, the sign of the house it's in for you. So for you guys, it could be a nice financial gift. Uh, sometimes the Wheel of Fortune can indicate where you walk into a store, you buy a lottery ticket and you win a few dollars. It can sometimes indicate a lucky break where you look on the internet and you realize, oh my goodness, they're there they're hiring at this perfect place that I always want to work and you put in your resume and boom, you get accepted right away. Sometimes that can be, it's just a lucky break. Sometimes it can be like, you know, oh my, my dream home. I always want to live in this particular area, this particular uh, place. And all of a sudden you look online and boom, you know, there's your ideal home. Whatever the situation is, whatever is important to you, it could be that you're seeing a nice turn of events in that area. So beautiful. Beautiful. And the last card you have is Mr. Good News. <laughs> the page of wands in the upright position. Hey, didn't you guys get this last week? I think Capricorn, yeah, you got it as your last card as well. So for those of you Capricorns who didn't get the exciting news last week, maybe it's your turn this week. The uh, page of wands for me, I love this energy. It's so exciting and it's so fun. The Page of Wands is a court card, though. It could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Maybe you're getting some good news from a fire sign, or you could just be getting good news in general. Maybe um, a text message, an email, something you've always wanted, your dream job or whatever, is like now manifesting before your very eyes. And maybe this is you excited to, you know, share the news. This is about sharing exciting news. Now, the Page of Wands can sometimes indicate travel because sometimes he can be, this can be a travel agent sort of contacting you, letting you know everything's, all systems are go for your itinerary, for any plans that you are making to travel. For others of you, this could indicate maybe there's somebody coming in, you know, traveling to come and see you, and it's very exciting. Whatever the situation is, it's very exciting. I mean, this energy is super, super passionate and very exciting. Um, good news, good news could be something you've waited for for a long time. Finally, the wheel is turning in your favor. Capricorn, look at that, it's beautiful. And maybe you could be wanting to shout it from the rooftops. I wouldn't blame you <laughs> if you were, but this could also be just, you know, finally getting that good news that you've been waiting for. Looks like the, the start of the week could be a little bit intense for you, but as the week progresses, moving on to the weekend, you got this, it's golden. Loving these readings for Capricorns lately. You guys have been getting like such awesome some readings. So happy for you. <laughs> I hope it, it resonates for every single Cappy out there. So that's what I have for you. Thank you very much for joining me. If the reading helped you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.